We're going to have a good, glorious time tonight. Tell you what, let's start with a word of prayer. And uh, then uh, I'm going to have different people on the call here tonight to share. Uh, I've asked a few, few specific people to pray. And uh, then we're going to let anyone else that wants to contribute to the prayer pray as well. But uh, we have a great opportunity tonight to make a difference in the heavenly realm. And uh, together, the Bible says, when one puts a thousand to flight, two ten thousand, that means we got a whole bunch of uh, power working for us tonight here to uh, accomplish God's will. So let's start with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this opportunity tonight to come together from different different parts of the country to believe and agree that uh, your will is done in this upcoming election. Father, we thank you that uh, your word says, if any two agree on earth as touching anything, it will be done for them. Your word says that uh, if we, what we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. What we loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Your word says, Father God, that what we ask for in faith according to your will. You hear it and you answer it. So, Father, all this we, we do because you tell us to put you in remembrance of your word. And we thank you, Father God, that you established America as a godly nation. And, Father, we thank you that you forgive us for negligence. You forgive us, Father God, for things we've allowed because we haven't taken a more of an active part. We thank you, Father, you forgive us and even our forefathers and the forefathers before them that have allowed uh, things to come to where they are now. But, Father, we're believing it's time to turn this nation around. We believe, Father God, that it's time for the wickedness to be exposed and removed. So, Father, as we believe tonight and agree tonight, we're believing for a work of your Holy Spirit, Father, in high places. And I thank you, Father, that uh, through the prayer tonight, we're going to see your will done at the polls a week from today. That, Father, people will go in droves to the polls. People that may be never ever voted before will vote in this election. We thank you that, Father, every vote is going to make a difference and you motivate everyone, Father, to the polls to choose the person you have ordained. And, Father, as we're looking at the issues, we can see, Father God, that uh, some significant issues are before us and we thank you, Father God, for uh, for helping us to see the clearly uh, the right versus the wrong choice in this election. Now, Father, I thank you for each one that's on the call, each one, Father God, that's here to contribute and uh, come into an agreement and lead us. And I thank you, Father, that as each person prays, that, Father, uh, we will just uh, agree that according to your word, it is a done deal. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Well, Joyce, are you here with us tonight, Ruani? David, how are you? <laughs> if I got any better, I pop buttons and spill glory. <laughs> well, Joyce, I'm going to give you the opportunity to lead our charge tonight. And uh, for those of you that might not know Joyce, she's a friend to the ministry for a long time. And I'm not going to say too much more because I'll say something about everybody. But uh, Joyce is one of the most uh, serious, prophetic, and uh, strong prayer warriors I know. And Joyce, we're honored to have you with us here tonight. And uh, the ball's in your court. Go ahead, girl. All right. Thanks, David. And uh, I just want to lead us into the courtroom of heaven. I was telling David earlier today that, that uh, last night that's what the Lord um, laid on my heart to do. So, uh, Father, right now, we just declare that you're the just judge and the one and the only righteous one. And that you create all things and you have authority over all of us. And by your hand, we were born and given to the very day and I we remember for your mercy and goodness and the rest of the and how you saved the people from slavery and from the farm. And we remember your goodness and mercy throughout the generation. And we remember your covenant promises. And with heartfelt gratitude, we tell Jesus, your son, loving and we honor the precious Trinity and your authority. 
revelations uh, that I've seen in recent years when you look at um, the word of God recognizing all the way through it how it is a legal system I'm not going to get into teaching tonight but Joyce we thank you for doing that okay alrighty Dale try talking see if we can hear you there we go can you hear me David hey can you hear me alrighty I can hear you and you can hear me and Rhonda maybe you can send me a text make sure uh, not a text, but a, a note there that we're, we're working. Thank you, David. Yes, sir. Okay. All righty. Well, Dale, the ball's in your court to pray, and we're going to agree with you. Thank you. Praise God. Uh, uh, Father, I just, um, all of us, just seek your heart, Lord, on this. All of us present the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ into the courtrooms of heaven as the evidence that our side, that our, our cause is just. So, Father, we just thank you for our country. Lord, we thank you for believers that um, 
the, 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 the group here, the remnant here, that just seeks to do your will, seeks for the very best for this awesome nation that you created yes. and brought together. Lord, we do repent for our sin and the sin of this nation, Lord, and the sins of, of, of all Americans, Lord, for every, every person in this country, Lord God. We, we plead your mercy upon each one, Lord God. We plead your mercy, Father, on this country. Father, this, this is a, a, a serious matter, Lord. We all know it's very serious, Lord. You know it's very serious. And so, Lord, we ask you to, to bless what we're doing here, Lord, to bless this country, to cause it to stop here, to cause all the negative to stop here, Father. Your prophets have prophesied a lot about this thing with Donald Trump and this, what's, what's up coming here and the, the fact that he that he could be the Cyrus Lord that we're all wanting and needing to, to, to move forward here. So Father, we pray that you would work with the hearts of the voters of this country. Work with their hearts, Lord God, and if need be, put a hook in their nose and drag them to the right spot. Father, we just thank you for your mercy. We thank you that you love us so much. Father, we um, implore you to cause it to happen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Dale. I appreciate that. Appreciate your your sincerity and the words that you shared there. All right, I'm going to hit this button and see what happens here. Alrighty, I don't have anybody else in the queue here, so uh, uh, but I'm not sure if this is Chuck or Diana. We'll see who we get here. Hang on. Uh, am I here? Yeah, uh, Chuck, ball's in your court. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Appreciate you. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Chuck is a dear friend of the ministry as well and uh, hosts the call here many times in my absence. Um, I should say many times. I've only been gone three or four times in numbers of years. But Chuck has done a great job. And Chuck, we appreciate you. And uh, balls, you. balls in your court to pray here. Okay. So I'm on, right? You are. Yep. Okay. Well, Father, I just come before you tonight. And Father, all of us on this call tonight realize what a privilege it is as a son and daughter of God to be here working with the family business tonight, Father, and, and being able to stand in the gap and represent the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords tonight, Father. Because, Father, we know you have a this election, you have a purpose, you have a desire, you have something that you want to accomplish, and we get to work with you you to bring that to pass and it's uh, I want to thank you for that father right now I just pray for righteousness to rise up we've seen so much unrighteousness but I just pray for a spirit of righteousness and a conviction of righteousness to be permeate this whole election with all that stuff is coming from different sides but I just pray for righteousness father I pray you would just expose corruption in everywhere it's found it doesn't matter what party what person father that you pull the sheets back, Father. Before, between now and the 7th of this month, Father, we have an opportunity as children of God, as sons and daughters and others, to raise up a man to lead us and to represent you, Father, and even though we don't know where he's at, but represent you because we believe that's what we need now, the spirit of Jehu in, in the White House, Father, to clean house. So we're asking, Father, for that, that and, and because most of us on the call here feel that, that Trump is the man, so we want to be in agreement yeah. that you're going to raise him up in yeah. Jesus' name. Father, I just pray for a conviction to come over the American people as they yeah. see the the difference between two to candidates, the corruption, the, all the terrible stuff that's coming out, Lord, that they would realize that's not what they want. And other Christians would vote for righteousness. They would not vote because uh, of the how they feel about this or that, but they would vote because they're they're convicted yes. by a spirit of 
righteousness within them for this for this for this uh, election. Now, I just take authority over every spirit of lethargy on every Christian in America that is that is planning on staying home or planning on not voting or doing something different, Father. I just take authority over that spirit of lethargy over every American voter and command that spirit to leave them, Father, and put a spirit in them and a conviction they have to do the part in this election in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I just pray for the TV and the radio announcers who are bad-mouthing Trump and promoting the other side. I know that's what they have to do, but I pray, Father, that you put a spirit of conviction on these people that they would get so tired of having to defend unrighteousness and defend corruption that they would just say, I've had enough of this. And even the, the announcers would say, I'm not, I can't do this anymore. Lord, I just pray for this spirit over this election that would just rock and roll and would shake this thing up like we've never seen it before, Father. Yes. And Father, I just pray for America. I pray for our military. I pray for the, the President uh, Obama. I pray, Father, for that we will not have a war, that they will not start a war when Trump wins war just to throw the election off or protect himself. I pray against the war yes. that even not they might be planted or have been planted, I should say. I just pray, Father, for protection over this nation, protection over our military, protection over Americans and other people in other countries that this corrupt system would, would even go to war to protect their their their, their own self, Lord. And so, Father, I just pray against any corruption in the voting machines. I pray, Father, that mm -hmm. you'll expose all those people that are trying to, uh, the George Soros and the people that own those voting machines, that even now they're, they've got them rigged so they, they'll, 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 they will uh, express not Trump, but Hillary in Jesus' name. So wherever there's corruption, Lord, but I pray especially for those voting machines, Lord, and for all the different ways that the that the, that other side has has been trying to steal this election, expose them. Pull the sheets back, Lord. Expose their corruption. Expose their unrighteousness, Father. In the yes. name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. That's good, Hallelujah. Chuck. Hallelujah. And some excellent points there. Thank you so very much. And Father, I just pray for any false flags and because of, of, of deviations that the enemy would try to throw out there to scare people and all the tactics and all the dirty tricks that that politicians are so good for, Lord. We just come against that and command them to be stopped in Jesus' name. Yes. Stop, stop, stop. And Father, every time they want to do something, I pray that people even involved it would get sick of it and say, I can't do this anymore. And just and expose them and, and yes. maybe even go on TV or whatever and says, you know, they hired me to do this, but I can't do good. it. Father, yes. just go back beats in Jesus' name, in the name of Lord Jesus. And Father, I pray that you'd raise up millions of, of men and women right now, Christians and non-Christians alike. Father, that they not only pray, but they'd start fasting, Father, uh, along with so many, many other millions of people, not fasting just through the election, but all the way through the inauguration because so that, that, that crazy stuff doesn't happen, uh, to throw that off and stop it as well. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. And make that commitment to fast and pray until this republic is back where it should be, Lord, Amen. in Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. Amen. Father, I just thank you that your will be done, your kingdom come, and your will be done in this election. Yes. Father, I just pray that all of all of us that are committed to pray and committed to fast for this thing, that we'll stay strong in this. Yeah. And yeah. We'll, we'll double in number as this goes, because not only through the 7th but of, of, of this month, but the 7th of January, yeah. we would find people that would stand strong uh, so this thing doesn't happen or fall in disarray or whatever, Father. So we agree tonight, Father, for your man to be elected and protected. I pray protection over Trump, his family, his business, yes. everything he owns, everything he puts his hand to, yes. all the people that's involved with him, all 
those on, on his side, Father, that been throughout the land and all the Republicans throughout the land, Father. And there's a lot of good Democrats as well, Christian Democrats. Protect them as well, Lord, in Jesus' name. Yes. In, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, that was awesome, Chuck. You get some really good points there, I think. One that uh, I just want to kind of resonate with, particularly all of it was so good, but the, the idea that these voting machines, I mean, there are lots of news reports coming out that in Texas, people go to vote and they, they, report, they, they, they put on their ballot, Republican all the way, but when they put it in the machine, it, it uh, changes the presidential candidate to uh, Hillary. And uh, there's been a lot of that, and so we just need to pray, I, I, as you did there, I think that was really good, that uh, everyone catches the irregularities and the fraud that's been planned. And yeah. that's really I have good. a friend of mine in Texas, he voted the first day it was legal, and he, I talk to him almost every day because we're doing some business together, and he went down there, came back, said, you won't believe this, but when I voted, I voted a straight Republican ticket, but I, when I punched a button that everything was done, and I looked up that corner, and I voted for Hillary. So he had to go deal with the election officials. They finally got it changed, but yeah, that's happening all over Texas. Yeah, it's, yep, yeah, big time. All righty, well, in the name of Jesus, that stuff's going to get exposed. And um, we're, we're, we're just going to see God show off here in a brilliant, wonderful way to uh, accomplish his will. Amen. Okay, well, we've got a bunch more people that have lined up here to pray. Uh, I do, uh, Angela Reed, I'd like you to get in the, in the queue here. Uh, so if you'd hit star six, anyone else that wants to c contribute to the prayer here, uh, star six is the way you get in. And uh, Hello, David. Okay, there you go. Oh, this is Catherine. Yeah, sure. Uh, all right. We're trying to keep it to about three minutes, five minutes max, Catherine. Go ahead. Ball's in your court. Very good. Well, God, I've come together. We're in one heart, uh, one heart and one mind here, Lord, that all corruption in this election will be exposed. Lord, let's go beyond that to say that every attempt at fraud or corruption, every act of fraud or corruption, will not only be exposed in brilliant light, but will be brought to nothing. Yes. It will have no effect on the election. Lord God, and that uh, your will will continue to be done in spite of every effort at our corruption. Mm -hmm. And that the consequences of these acts will be brought in us down ahead of those who are committing them. And we are in agreement, Lord, that uh, Donald Trump, his family, his uh, campaign staff, Everyone connected with him and his property um, are protected by your warrior angels. We praise you, Lord, and your understanding that this is a virus you are raising up. And so, Lord, we are before you to ask that your will be done and your heart to the collection. But we're not surprised by this. You were here when a red faced army of farmers was outnumbered, out-uniformed, out-trained by the Dishani. And miraculously, you brought them to victory. You birthed this nation, Lord God, and they knew it. You were there when George Washington got on his knees at the chapel on your ground zero and dedicated this nation to you. You heard his cry. You honored his prayer. So this election is not a... Uh, not a surprise to you. And I praise you, Lord, that as surely as you were there at the red red beginning, when many people thought this nation could never succeed and could never be born. So you are here with us now. You know every risk, you know every attack, you know every plan for war, for uh, destruction, for uh, takeover by different ideologies, for the destructive within, and you have every member of your remnant in this land crying out to you, fasting yes. and praying before this election. Thank you that you are here now. Thank you that the victory is yours. Thank you that because of the shed blood of your son Jesus and his resurrection power, 
that we can stand knowing we have victory, knowing that you are with us no matter what, but believing that our government will change and our nation will change for your honor and glory as we are crying out to you in this time. Amen. We thank you for the privilege that you've chosen us for just such a time as this. And make us faithful with God. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Catherine, thank you. And uh, Catherine, I think I'll be out as a guest one of my Tuesday shows. Catherine's just written a book that's going to be a bestseller on Amazon. So uh, we'll talk about that one of these nights. Catherine, thank you. I'm going to keep moving here now. And uh, all righty. I think I can get Sue here. Uh, let's try this. All right, Sue, I think you should be okay now to go. Well, I'm not sure where Sue is here, but uh, we'll move on to the next one I got. I think this is Diana, or Diane. Let's go here. Diane, go ahead. Okay, can you hear me now? I got you now. I'm, 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 go ahead, Diane. This ball's in your court. Father, we thank you, and we set our faith to receive pre uh, President and Vice President and God-fearing servants who serve this nation and not themselves. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you that our America is no longer divided by racism, but that we are united, Lord, for one purpose, and that is for you to be set on the hill, Father God. We know that America, as people have been praying for America to be set on the hill, to be that beacon of light for you, but Father... We want you to be set on the hill. We want your revival to sweep across our nation, mm -hmm. Lord, and to bring your church to yes. its knees, Father God. I ask for the fear of God to come over your church, Father, that they would be convicted to go vote, that they would stand up and that they would take a stance, Lord, against the enemy, and they would draw a line in the sand, Father God. We thank you, Father, that this revival is sweeping from the north to south to east and the west. Lord. And we thank you, Father, that America has risen from the ashes and that rebellion is no longer rapid, rampant in our nation, but all spirits of witchcraft are ceased in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, that we will not give up until America is once again safe and prosperous. And, and great again and debt free and a country living for you and declaring you that we are one a nation under God. I declare that we are still one nation under God, mm -hmm. indivisible with liberty and justice for everyone, Lord. Father, we, we thank you, Lord, for the men and women who are even um, serving in our, in our, our um, military right now. Father God, we just pray for their protection. We pray for your wisdom and your guidance to lead them and guide them for our country's sake. Father, we thank you, Lord, that that no weapon formed against them will prosper, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that they are trying to keep uh, peace and, and um, in the Middle East, Lord Jesus. But, Father, right here at home, we declare that there would be a total house cleaning uh, uh, and righteous shaking to Washington, D.C., the White House, Congress, our Supreme Court, and the Pentagon. We thank you, Father, that um, that all the, that what the enemy has set up and meant for evil, Lord, it will be torn down and meant and turned for the good. Father God, we thank you, Lord, yes. that no longer will Wall Street and big business be able to pull, pull America like puppets on a string, Father God, but that your truth will be shown mm -hmm. and that the finances will flow in our country as they did in the beginning. Father, we thank you that we are a republic and that as a nation, this republic will be risen up again in Jesus' name to serve you and to stand on a holy hill and declare that Jesus is Lord over our country in Jesus' yes. name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Diana, thank you. That was really awesome. Good prayer. All righty. Um, I'm hitting area code 618. And the first three letters are uh, 726, so... Uh... Okay, now you have me. <laughs> this is Sue. Ah, oh, that worked. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I just wanted to come and thank God. To thank God that he is our God. Just to come and thank him that he 
is working through you saints to bring his kingdom to come, his will to mm. be done. And I, I just want to say that, you know, he said if we'll ask him that we will receive. And I want to thank him that every prayer that has been prayed tonight by these precious saints, I thank you, God, that it is done. It has been accomplished in the kingdom of God. And I pray, mm -hmm. Father, that you'll help our nation, each and every one of us, to repent of unbelief. Mm -hmm. God, we ask and we don't believe. Forgive us, God. Strengthen each one, Father. Strengthen every Christian in this nation to turn to you, God, to look full in the face of Jesus and to see what all you want to do through each and every one of them. And, Father, I thank you that however this election turns out, that you will still be my God and that you will still be in my life and that we will still be praising and glorifying you because you will be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sue, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, Angela, Apostle, Prophet, Pastor Angela Reed, need you to hit star six so we can get you in the queue here. Um, unless actually, no, I got an anonymous here. Let me click this anonymous. I don't, I don't know who this is. If you're in the queue, try talking right now because all it says is anonymous. Um, David, this is Susan. Oh, you called on two numbers. <laughs> Clever you. <laughs> I'm trying here. I've been texting you and stuff too to get on. Uh, okay, I heard it once said when a guy's name was Pete, he called in twice and it was Pete and repeat. So uh, we got Sue and Resu again. All right, Sue, thank you so very much. All right. God bless you. Well, Father, we just come before you and we just, we just praise your name because you are mighty and you are strong deliverer over this nation from the sins. And, and Lord, we just ask you to hold us up, Lord, and strengthen us with the palm of your hand. We ask, Lord, that you would look upon all the offices that are up for election this year and that you would lead us and guide us into all truth as to who we are to vote for. We ask, Lord, that your will would be done with the person who in this election who is the president to appoint to the Supreme Court judges mm -hmm. who will be honorable and righteous in their acts and that they would support the sanctity of human life and, and that they would do your will, Father, yes. that you would turn those that have turned aside, Lord, and take them out of offices, no matter where they are, and put godly men and women in who, who know your heart and hear your voice. We ask you to turn the hearts of the fathers back to the children, and the children back to the fathers, and create strong family units once again, that the sanctity of marriage and the holiness that comes through the covenant relationship that we have with you and through the marriage of, of the right of the man and woman, Lord, that you would turn the hearts back to that family union, unit that you established. Covenant, Father, we see yes. covenant over this nation. This election not only affects this nation, but all the nations of the world. And we ask that as we turn towards righteousness, that we would affect many yes. and, and pick up once again the call to the nations to go to all the nations of the world and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. This isn't about just this nation. This is about all nations and how we affect them. Lord, we ask for godly wisdom. We got ask for godly understanding and yes. wisdom and knowledge of you. Reveal to us your heart, Father. We ask that revelation would come and that the despondency that's come over this nation where they call evil good and, e and good evil, Lord, that you would open the eyes of the blind and let them see the true righteousness that they need to partake of, that purity and holiness must come once again to this nation. For, for this is to where we were called from the very beginnings of this, to be able to worship you in spirit and in truth without persecution. Lord, we ask that you would do this 
mighty work and rise yes. up as Christians, rise up and declare your word and not be ashamed or afraid, that they would be courageous and bold as they come before you in righteousness. Amen. We ask, Lord, that you would, you would open up the windows of heaven over this nation and pour out blessings and favor upon it in ways that the people will, even those who are ungodly, would see and know that you are God and you reign for you are holy and you are righteous and you rule and reign and we declare you king of kings and lord and lords of this nation. We thank you Father for all that you've done, how you've sent people from here to other nations. We thank those who have come here to serve this nation and now Lord give us a voice that speaks into the darkness that has overcome so many parts of this nation where we have turned from from your heart, Lord, and turn to man for our answers. Lord, we ask you to do a mighty work this week, and Lord, and unveil everything that needs to be unveiled. Show the world the truth and the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it's for this that we call forth and declare the word of the Lord. We thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. that you are holy. We thank you, Lord, for leading and guiding us. Open our ears and the eyes of the Christians to see and know the truth, because the truth is going to set many free. We thank you, Father, for provision. We thank you for all the things that you do for us every day, and even the things that we don't know. Lead us and guide us. We ask you to protect the godly candidates, Lord, that they would not be made a mockery of, that, that, that your word will rise up in them, and they will speak even as boldly as they have in the past, Lord, bring out even more boldness that they would say, I am a godly man and I stand for the truth of the gospel. Thank you, Father, for all you're doing. We thank you for how you're un uncovering all the unrighteousness. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sue, thank you. Appreciate your prayers and look forward to being in your uh, in your group here real soon here, a couple weeks. So thank you. Alrighty, moving on here. I don't have a name. Uh, this is the area code 262. First three digits are 349. So uh, you should be live here. Oops, I, I, I muted you. Oh, go ahead. Two six two three four nine four zero. Go ahead. David, can you hear me? Yes, gotcha. I'm sorry. Uh, praise God. I wasn't sure. I was in here a long time ago, and I wasn't sure. Um, Father God, I just agree, Father, with every prayer that's been prayed, every request mm -hmm. that we've made of you, Lord God. Father, I just pray that no, I, Lord, I know you're hearing these prayers. And Lord God, you say that if we ask, that the answer is yes. So Father, I just thank you for every brother and every sister that has prayed and sought you in this matter, Lord God. We are in agreement here. We are totally in unity and totally in agreement with what we're seeking you for, Lord God. Yes. Just agree, Father. We just thank you that you agree with us. We bless you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for the tremendous result that this time is going to have. Not only now, but in eternity, Father God. Yes. We bless you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Dale, thank you. Praise God. All right, I'm gonna, I got two more people in the queue here, and if anybody else wants to be added, uh, star six on your phone, and uh, then you evidently have to press number one. But if you want to add to the prayer here, um, we got two more people in the queue, and gonna go to uh, looks like Rockford next, eight one five area code. All righty. Hello? Yep. Yeah, this is Bob Olbrich. Hey, 
Bob. Blessings to you, my friend. circumvent his victory yeah. are, uh, are, are going to be stopped and exposed yeah. and defused. So thank yeah. you, Joni. Appreciate your labor of diligence there and in interceding welcome, as I know you do. And you're a real yeah. prayer warrior. We appreciate you. Thank you. you. All righty. We got 914 area code here. Uh, 914, then 456. That's an easy one to remember. So uh, you should be good here to go. Yeah. 
confident that you are able to do exceeding abundantly more than we could ever pray for. We want to do work here to start making the suffer, and we say, let your kingdom come into this stand once again. Let your will be done, Lord. We lift up holy hands without rising, without doubting, knowing, God, that you are able to do the impossible. You are able to do what you have ordained, what you have planned to your day, what you have destined to do. And we just thank you, Lord God, that even on this prayer line, Father God, we have met the requirement of agreement. You said we are any two shall stand in agreement concerning your plan, concerning your word. Any two shall stand, it shall be done. We see your plan prevailing. We see your kingdom coming. We see your will be done, Lord God. We see every demonic struggle be exposed in the mighty name of Jesus. And we mm -hmm. declare and we decree that you shall arise. Lord, one week from today, we will see the manifestation that you are really king of kings and Lord of lords that is beside you. There is no other. You are God Almighty. Demonstrate your almightiness. Lord God, and we will be mindful, sir, to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. We declare it done. We decree it as done in your truth's name. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Angela, prophet, pastor, apostle, doctor, we appreciate you. Praise God. Thank you for joining with us here. That was, that was awesome. All righty, I have one more person here in the queue, and if anybody else wants to uh, lead again in a prayer, uh, hit star on your phone, star, and then six, and then the number one. And uh, we're going to move on here to the last one we have at this moment anyway. And uh, that's Judy. So, Judy, you should be good to go. Father, you're bringing all your children together in fervent prayer and fasting mm -hmm. to seek your heart in this election, Lord. And I just thank you so much that your will will be done, Lord. And you are stirring up people that have been lethargic and just throwing up their hands to say, I'm not even going to be a part of this. You're going to bring them out in droves Amen. to vote for your anointed one, Lord. And that any efforts by the evil one to disrupt the voting to switch it over to the other side will be stopped yes. Father and I just yeah, thank you that heaven is rejoicing our praises should be lifted to you to thank you for what you're doing I thank you for this whole situation it's bringing us all together it's bringing us mm -hmm. all together as one to seek your heart and I am just so thrilled for what is going on and I can feel the excitement and know what's coming. And I thank you, Lord, that there's darkness, but your glory overcomes it all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Woo! Uh, that'll get your fire going. <laughs> Judy, thank you so very much. You're welcome. All right, we got a few more people that joined here, and uh, we're going to wrap it up here in about five minutes. So those that are coming up here, uh, try to keep it at uh, about two minutes here. All right, 414-322, your mic's live. Uh, yes, this is Doug. Hey, Doug, um, I was going to tell you, make sure you get online, so good. <laughs> Well, something came to my mind, and there's been plenty of prayer about Trump and the elections, and I know that's what it's about, but I feel strongly that that is going to be a done deal. But this prayer I have is for the church. There's a great writer from France called de Tocqueville that came, and he looked at this land, and he, he his estimation of what made America so great was not the government, it was not the leaders, but it was the rank and file citizens mm -hmm. that had given themselves to praising God and going to church and raising their families uh, in a godly manner. And then that has been lost. That has been stolen from the, from this land, the very the very foundation that set this this great ship. And in, the, in, in direction and full sail has been uh, commandeered, has been pirated by illegal 
means. And Father, I, I just look to you, your church. You're called out, Father. That you raise them up for another time. That, that you just stir their spirits that have been languishing in church pews and, and uh, uh, online, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, preachers and so forth. But raise them up up and open their eyes to know that each and every uh, 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 one of them is an oracle of the truth and that they speak to their neighbors they start to sit they start going for uh, running for school board they they sit on council they get involved father and they bring the word of god into the mainstream that from which it's been uh taken out of father uh, make your word once again beyond the lips of the everyday american everyday christian raise up your church put a fire under that church i call and decree a new church father raising up all yes a phoenix that is going to thank you jesus going to, is going to change the fabric of this land from a dark and dusty the old rag into the brilliant coat of mullet many colors that it was designed to be in Jesus name Amen Amen Very good my friend, blessings to you Thank you Okay, we got two more in the queue, and then uh, we're going to say amen tonight to uh, this prayer. I um, uh, want to invite, uh, let's see, it's area code 202 744. Your mic is on. She lives right in the midst of it, right in Washington, D.C. Uh, so Catherine, thank you for that exhortation. That was good. One more call or my prayer here. Uh, and this is from area code 253-414.
I thank you, Father, for causing us to be uh, taught by pastors and teachers and apostles and prophets and evangelists, Lord. You gave them that work to do to bring the church to the unity of the faith, to go into the full measure of the stature of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so, Father, I thank you that, that in this day and time you will strengthen the pastors, the teachers, the apostles, the prophets, and the evangelists to do the work of the ministry, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that you will undergird the church. I thank you, Father, for developing the bride and causing the bride to take a stand of uh, holiness and cleanness and purity, just like a bride would on her wedding day, Lord God. I yes. thank you, Father, that we will decide that we will not be spotted by the world, Lord God. For you have told us to remain unspotted from the world, Father. And so I thank you, Lord, that you are truly developing your bride and bringing her into a full measure, the full stature for um, your son, our bridegroom, the Lord Jesus Christ. And so, Father, I thank you for your grace and your mercy upon the church. I thank you for your blessing upon this land. I thank you for your overseeing and your sovereignty over our government. We give you glory and honor for all that you have intended and you will do in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Awesome closing prayer. And I say closing prayer, but... Uh, I am going to just close with a word of prayer. But, you know, before I do, uh, I want to do this. I'm going to... Okay, I think... Let me see here. Hey. Somebody talk to me. All right. Yes. All right. Good. That's what I thought. All the microphones are now open. Tell you what I want to do. It's going to be... Uh, chaos, but it's going to be a glorious chaos, but uh, let's take a minute, maybe two, and every one of us, let's pray in the Holy Ghost, together. Alrighty. <laughs> match next Tuesday night because uh, our God reigns and the kingdom of God is being established and I want to thank you every one of you for your prayers I also want to thank you for your support of the ministry and I want to tell you that uh, in a new season so good night everybody we'll see you next Tuesday God bless <laughs>